Okay, this morning's lesson is um, bangers and mash, right? Um, it's a simple, very simple and traditional uh, dish, right? And if it's done well, it can be really fantastic, yeah? Um, so I'm gonna show you uh, little tips along the way, how to uh, make good bangers and mash, yeah? Now, for you guys, up on that oven there, so when you get your frying pan, get yourself a tray and put the frying pan on the tray and slide the oven. I'm going to put mine straight in there, yeah? Right, what you're going to do is you get the pan hot. Don't put no oil in it. You get the pan hot. And um, with the potatoes, actually, the potatoes can gain boiling water, can gain cold water. Um, yeah, the potatoes, Especially it's old potatoes, they go in cold water and you bring it to the boil. These new potatoes, you put it in boiling water and then you time it. Yeah? So once that starts to boil, that is when I'll time it. It doesn't matter what time I put it in there, it's when it boils, that's when I time it. So there you go. Yeah? So you're going to ask me how long will it take, sir? 15 minutes to 20 minutes when the water is boiling. So as soon as the water is boiling, you look at the clock and you time 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah? So I want to count it now. Right. Um, whilst the pan is hot, right, then I'm going to roll the sausages around in the pan. Why? Because you want an even colour. Because, you know, sausages take seven to eight minutes to cook. Because things like burgers, chicken, like chicken, fillet, press, what have you, sausages, they take about seven to eight minutes to cook because they're boneless. Yeah? So my pan is hot and I can stick those in there. Right? I don't put no oil in there because sometimes you put oil in there and if it's not a very good sausage, um, a very uh, a cheaper sausage, you'll, you'll end up with loads and loads and loads of fat in the pan, yeah? So I don't put any fat in there because the sausage itself contains a little bit of fat in there already. Behave yourself. Right? So what am I doing? Right? I'm, I'm colouring the sausage. Right? Um, what I said earlier on is that um, when the sausage is coloured, it's normally caught away through once it goes through there in the oven. Yeah? However, a lot of customers, they like to see that the sausage is brown on both sides. Oh, they will think in their mind it's not cooked. So, we give it an even colour all around, the customer's satisfied, yeah? So, I'm just browning it on the stove there, because I want you guys to do just to brown it quickly on the stove, yeah? Remember, seven to eight minutes. Once I've got a, a <coughs> nice little colour on my sausages, then I'm going to put that in the oven. I mean, originally, Years gone by, this is how you cook sausages, and this is how you cook bacon, you would fry it. But nowadays, it's more healthy to grill. Yeah? Grilling is more healthier than um, frying, because you don't add any oil. Yeah? So, we, and every, 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 everybody's trying to eat healthy nowadays. Right? So, as you can see, the, 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 the sausages, it's not cooked, just coloured. So, it will come with a nice, even colour once it's cooked. Yeah? In the oven. Done. Yeah? So, the next thing I'm going to do, potatoes are boiling. I've got my little saucepan. You don't need a big saucepan. Right? And I'm going to cook down my onions. A little bit of oil. Don't put too much oil in it. If you put oil, a lot of oil in the saucepan, you're going to end up with a, a greasy gravy. Look what I've got. Oh, sorry. Can you see what I've just done? Yeah? Yeah? Brizzle. You don't need loads. A gin. You're going to end up with a greasy <laughs> gravy. <laughs> then I'm going to add my onions. I'm not going to fry them rapidly. I'm going to fry them slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly till they become soft. 
right? That could take anything between five to ten minutes. When you're making an onion gravy, don't make it last minute before service. Make, give yourself time. Yeah? Give yourself time. So if, you, if, if service is uh, 12 o'clock, don't make the gravy at 11.30. Make give it time because you'll find that um, it needs a slow cook and you want soft onions. Yeah? You don't want the onions to be burnt, you don't want to be rushing. So if I stick that in there, like that, then I'm going to add a little bit of salt to it. A teeny bit of salt because my demi glass is going to have salt in it anyway. And as you can see, what am I using? A teaspoon. Because when I'm measuring, it's the best measurement to use it is a spoon. Yeah? And it prevents cross contamination. Right? A little bit of salt. Right? So what I've done, I'll recap. Potatoes in the cold water, on the fire, forget about it for, uh, until it starts to boil. And then 15 minutes, 50 to 20 minutes, soft. Um, sweat it off, or browned sausages on top of the stove, just to give it a bit of colour, straight into the oven. Slowly cook. No high fire, high fire for this, but a very low fire for that one. And let it just tick over. I'll put it there so you can do all that. And it can stick over. When it starts to get soft, then I will uh, add the water and the demi glass to make it into the onion gravy, yeah? So, you guys, get to that stage. We'll do the onion rings and the mashed potato after. Yeah? Cool. Once the sausages come out of the, uh, the oven, you want to probe it to make sure that it's cooked. Now you want the, the core temperature. So the best way to get the core temperature is to pick up the sausage like that. I can see your head. And you want to put it through like this. And then you read it. And we're looking for 75. This is what, 81 and, and, and counting. It's like the sausages are cooked. <laughs> um, onion gravy. Right, so the onion should be soft now. Slowly cooking, it's soft. So what I'm gonna do now, I've already got some salt in there already, haven't I? I'm gonna add some demi-glaze. Right, now demi-glaze, it also thickens. So, at this stage, at this very, very early stage, if I was to add red wine, I'd add it now. Approximately 250 millilitres, approximately, which is quarter of a litre. Then you bring that to the boil and then you let it reduce slowly and it will naturally thicken. The sauce we did the last time, I can't remember which sauce it was, and it went to the boil, then it starts to thicken, yeah? Same principle, it's called a reduction. So you put it in there, it looks like nothing now, it looks a bit watery, like it's gonna go nowhere. You leave it in there to reduce. So I leave it there to pour and reduce, and I let it simmer, and then that's it. Right, go back to your stage and finish off what you did. Aha. Uh -huh.